please ignore the dead trim. I'm literally about to go to the barbers. But it's Thursday, the 1st of October. The step competition finished about 35 minutes ago now. But this morning, we had another surprise drop and a load of shoes disappeared from the shop. This morning's drop was the Yeezy 350 Carbon. There was only 30 of them and they sold out in like 100 seconds. It was stupidly fast. Aglet did send out a push notification for these though. There doesn't seem to be any kind of structure to these drops. So my best bet for you is to just keep checking the shop because it seems like some will come by push notification, some will come just shocks, others will be posted on Instagram and who knows where else. All I know is they're just going to keep coming. So this morning we got the Yeezy 350 Carbons. They're not super amazing but they're a good tier 4 shoe. Chances are people won't be selling them but if they come back in like a much larger quantity just know that they're very profitable in one wear so they're a good buy if you're just looking for some quick aglet. Just jumping in from the edit you know how I do when I miss something out. What I did record here was a list of all the shoes that disappeared but the list that Yeetus wrote was actually wrong it missed a few pairs so here is the actual list back to the video the fact that all these shoes have gone in one go makes me think we're onto something big in the coming days so i think that's how it's going to be for the rest of this video i'm just going to pick up the camera and record uh, when things happen and then when there's enough content for a video the video will go out because i don't really know what's going on right now it's all a bit mad okay so i'm back from the barbers and we've had two announcements on instagram the first one the september competition winners have been announced. Firstly, Yeetus came third with an average of 44,448 steps per day. Fame Pain came second with less than an average of 500 more steps per day. And Valentin wins the solo prize with an average of 54,395 steps per day. Now, Fame Pain did show us his previous five days of steps and they're just crazy. This is them here. And these are the steps that Yeetus took. They're not quite as insane, but they're still pretty crazy. Now that does mean TVG slipped from second to fourth in the solo competition, but it's okay because we won the team step competition. I'm not too sure whether they went for median, mean, or average, but it says average on the graphic. And our team's average step count was 32,738 steps. And in second place, winning $250 to spend on shoes and $100 iTunes gift card is Team Dirtag. And then in third place with nearly 17,000 steps was Team Shoe Slayers. But now for the real juicy information, we've got an autumn sale coming with a restock. It says here, get 30% off all sneakers in the Aglet sneaker shop, including a whole load of restock shoes from previous drops. The autumn sale will kick off tomorrow, Friday the 2nd of October, and run for one week. So it seems our big drop isn't on Saturday this week, it's on Friday like it used to be. Now I'm going to guess they're not going to bring any more information today. So I'll see you guys again tomorrow when the restock and the sale starts. Good morning, the shop drop is in three hours, it has been announced, and also overnight it seems that the comb overs came into the shop and then were removed. But yeah, I'm going to go shower and get ready for this drop. Okay, it's been about an hour since the drop and I've been pondering over these shoes since. Firstly, the restocked shoes. We have the Daniel Arsham Futurecraft 4Ds, the AFU KOI A6 Gel Light 3s, the Yeezy 350 V1 Pirate Blacks, the Yeezy 350 V2 Breads, the Alien Yeezy 380s, the Bape Superstars, the Aglet 1 GA, the Kith New Balance 992, the Saucony End Burgers, the Michael Jackson Moonwalk Loafer, the Van Zero 95 Fogs, the Azel 700 V3, the Aglet 1 Luna, Ultra Boost 1.0 OG, Reebok The Question Blue Toes, Continental 80 OGs, ZX8000 Aquas, ZX10,000 Supercolors, the A6 Gel Light 3 Burgundy, the Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0 Chinese New Year, and the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Cream Whites. Now, I could sit here and talk all day about these shoes, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to sit here, slim this video down, and give you my recommendations. I'm going to presume most of you watching this video have over a thousand aglet in your balance. If you don't, I recommend buying the Chinese New Year Ultra Boost 3.0s. It costs just 126 aglet on sale and makes about 2.3k profit when using the 60% sneaker shine when the shoe hits 40% wear. And if the Chinese New Year's are out of stock, I'd say buy any tier 5 shoe. It's going to make you profit in the first wear. Now the low budget sneaker shine option is the traditional Makasan. It costs just 1,120 aglet on sale and gives you 9.5k profit when using sneaker shine. It's easily one of the fastest ways to earn aglet on the game during this sale. And it's that good that I'd say this is my mid option too. My number one choice for using a sneaker shine is the socks and slides coming in at 14,700 aglet. If you can't afford those, 
go back to the Moccasin. The socks and slides get you over 17k Agla profit when using Sneaker Shine. So if you can, I'd probably try and get a couple of these pairs if you like to use Sneaker Shine. Now dead stocking. If Sneaker Shine is sold out, I'd say go ahead and dead stock the Moccasin. It'll give you about 11k profit when using dead stock stations on them, but they're not actually my low choice. My low cost choice for dead stocking is the previously stated socks and slides costing 14,700 Aglet during a sale. These can be repaired at any dead stock station and will earn you over 25,000 Aglet in profit. My mid choice is the tier 2 Kith Free Hiker. It costs 35,700 aglet down from 51k and it'll earn you 60k aglet in profit. I was expecting this to be the number one sneaker for dead stocking, but I forgot about this beast. My number one choice, the Yeezy 750 Triple Black. If you have a tier 1 dead stock station and a hefty 171,500 aglet sitting in your balance, I'd seriously, seriously, seriously recommend picking these up. These are the most efficient regular aglet shoes to be dead stocking and they earn you. 90,000 aglet profit per wear. I just bought number seven out of 100, so there's plenty more to go around. In fact, I'm that confident. I'm going to pick some up now. The Yeezy 750 Triple Blacks. Yes, I would like to cop these. You know what? I'm even going to cop another one. I've got the money. I'll earn it back. Here we go. Number nine. I bought my first pair, number five, as a joke to grind with, but now it's very serious to grind with. When I suggested buying these to the players in Discord, they were actually saying no. They said they have gold aglet pairs to grind with, or that they want to save for Shop 5, and I think they're being very short-sighted. Shop 5.0 is right around the corner, and what do we know from the past few shops? That if you want to grind for aglet, the pairs in the start of the shop are actually pretty rubbish. The good grinders have been coming later on in all the shops. So if you have the money to get these and are deciding against it because you have gold aglet grinders, you may well have worn through your gold aglet grinders when Shop 5.0 gets here, and then you've bought your shoes and your options aren't as good as these 750s. And chances are you'll regret saving when you could have been buying to save in the future. Now those are my words of wisdom. I'd say just get out there, walk, earn aglet and cop what you can during the sale because it's an opportunity not to be missed. I'll see you in a bit. Peace.